All right, beloved, check this out. All right. Sorry, I hear the Michael Myers music playing in the background. Oh, Father God, Lord, thank you. Bless Father God, thank you that you watch over this night and day, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name. Father God, let them increase for the Holy Spirit increases in me fully, Father God. Let me speak what the Holy Spirit will have me speak in Jesus' mighty name, Father God. And cancel a host of angels around me to protect me from the fowls of the enemy. Father God, I plead the blood of Jesus from the crown of my hands and the soles of my feet. I give you all the glory, honor, and praise in Jesus Christ of Nazareth name. Amen. Wickedness, wickedness, wickedness. Okay, love it. Okay, so. The mother is responsible ultimately for the doing of her children, okay? This person that hurt you, this person that did all of these despicable things to you, okay, tried to bring you disease by sleeping with everybody, like purposely, purposely, beloved, not, 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 not the average, you know, oh, I, got drunk at the club and I slept with somebody even though that's bad enough right this was a practice okay you know the, the sins of the parents fall on the, the kids right but this was actively taught okay I'm getting like, maybe this person, um, their siblings, okay? The person that you were dealing with, they have siblings, right? They may have, they may all have different fathers, okay? Every last one. Um, unless of course they're twins or, you know, something like that, but in, in this case, I'm not seeing that, you know, the twins. I'm seeing maybe six, <sighs> maybe five or six different baby daddies. Okay. Now I'm not, I'm not shaming nobody. You know, I'm not, that's not what I'm doing. Okay. My mama got five different baby daddies. That ain't what I'm saying. I'm saying. These were practice whoredoms, okay? Practice manipulation. Practice greed. Practice entrapments, okay? You know how you entrap a person by getting uh, purposely, sneakily pregnant on purpose, poking holes in a condom or, you know, whatever. These were these type of things that were done, okay? out of malice, greed, trying to secure the bag, so, so to speak. Oh, Jesus. And then, so this, this trickled down to the, to the, to the children, okay? And these, this is one of them you were with, right? You may know their brothers or sisters or have met them before, okay? They had a hand in everything that this person did to you even the mother, okay? We're told that you weren't, they told them that you were not good enough for them. That you had nothing to offer them. Okay, which they already had a forward, a forward heart toward you, right? The person that you were with, they already had a forward heart toward you, right? Because they're full of pride, full of pride. And they, 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 People like this, they're, they're, they have a grandiosity complex. Like they love to be seen. They want to be worshiped. Like they're always in the mirror looking at themselves. They're always on taking pictures online, posting 20 pictures a day. Uh, 
trying to be seen. You can be in the room with them, right? And they're on their cell phone, online, social media, seeking attention. That's what they're doing, seeking attention, any and everywhere that they can get it. I know this kind. I, I was with one. We'd be in the same room together and they'd be constantly on their phone. Based away from me, constantly on their phone, flipping, flipping, right? Messages flipping, seeking for outside attention, texting other men and women, sending sexting photos, taking naked pictures in your bathroom, um, um, in your bed. Doing things on your couch or in your house when you're not around. Yes, beloved. You may have asked them, have they had somebody in your house before? They tell you, no, I would, I would never. They have. They have. On your couch, in your bed. Purposely disrespecting you. Purposely. Okay. And because of this, okay, the Lord made a wall. The Lord put up a wall, right? So they so that they will not find their way. Okay? Remember if the, if, if you were constantly in the wickedness, right? The Lord will give you over to it. Okay? He'll give you over to the work of your hands to what you want. If you want that, he'll give you over to it completely. And you will do it that more ragefully, uh, uh, disgustingly. Like, beloved, when I say disgusting, I mean nasty. And she shall follow after her lovers, but she shall not overtake them. And she shall seek them, but shall not find them. Then shall she say, I will go and return to my first husband. For then was it better with me than now. Beloved, these people, okay, they think the grass is greener on the other side, beloved. Okay? Right? And every time that they figure, either figure out that it's not, okay, or, or, thank you, Holy Spirit, or something goes wrong with one of their side pieces or whatever, that's when they come back to you. That's when they call you and play like, oh, I'm, oh, I'm just checking up on you. Or, I'm just, you know, you need anything? And they'll breadcrumb you. <laughs> they'll breadcrumb you. Disguising it as help. They're helping you. But they left you with bills before. They've never helped you before. They've been getting a free ride the whole time. They only breadcrumb you to keep a door open, beloved. For she did not know that I gave her corn and wine and oil and multiplied her silver and gold, which they prepared for bow. The things they stole from you. Your, 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 your produce, okay? I'm not talking typical, like produce, like food, but what, what you had to give. Your, your money, okay? Um, they stole things from you, okay? The things that you were supplied with by the Lord, okay? Your grace, thank you, Holy Spirit. Your grace, okay? Your energy. They ciphered your grace and your energy, right? Okay? Stole it from you to go out into the world and do all types of whoredoms with your energy, with your grace, right? Taking it to be as their own. That's why they thought they were hot stuff. And they looked at you like, oh, what do I need you for? They thought they had arrived. <laughs> People are so arrogant and wicked, beloved. Therefore, will I return and take away my corn in the time thereof, and my wine in the season thereof, and will recover my wool and my flax given to cover her nakedness. 
everything's going to be revealed to you. Everything's going to be revealed to you, okay? Everything. It's going to hurt. I ain't going to lie to you. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. But the Lord is there, and he will get you through it. Absolutely, okay? But through this pain, okay, through this grief, because it is it, it is going to be like a grief, like, like you're grieving a death, okay? Because it's going to hurt that bad, right? Through this grief, through this pain, you're going to heal through that, okay? You're going to heal through it. And now will I discover her lewdness in the sight of her lovers, and none shall deliver her out of my hand. I will also cause her mirth to cease, her feast days, her new moons, and her Sabbaths, and her solemn feasts. Witchcraft. Remember I told you that people summon and use the power in God's creation, the, the sun, the moon, uh, trees, okay, sacrificing animals, blood, blood is currency, blood is spiritual currency. That's why they sacrifice things, because the blood of it, that is the currency. And I will destroy her vines and her fig trees, whereof she has said, these are my rewards that my lovers have given me, and I will take them, I will make them a forest, and the beasts of the field shall eat them. Everything they've stolen from you, okay? Without your knowledge, the Lord is going to destroy all of that, okay? Oh, let's thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord is going to cause that all of that to be destroyed, consumed, okay? By the beasts of the field, other people just like them. Other people that are just like them, but worse. See, the cold thing is that you're the one that gave them love, that showed them genuine kindness, and that you cared, right? But they would rather go out and horror with other people, right? And try to purposely hurt you, right? To gain favor from people that don't even like them. They don't even care about them. They just want to use what they have as well. They're actually using them as well to gain the things that they want. It's a chain, right? They're using you for your stuff. They're being used for the stuff that they gain from you and so on. Witchcraft is mischievous. It's tricky. It's manipulation. It's, an, it's all illusion. They're going to be sorry, beloved. They are going to be sorry. They're going to be sorry. They're going to be real sorry. Not the type of sorry that, oh, I did you wrong. Uh, man, I feel bad. But sorry that they ever did what they did to you. Okay? Because you didn't deserve what they did to you. Okay? And what they did was planned. Okay? It says, but I will also cause her mirth to cease her feast days, her new moons, and her Sabbaths. And all her solemn feasts. These are days that witches and warlocks do uh, uh, rituals on. Right? They mock the Sabbath and do sab uh, rituals on the Sabbath. New moons, blood moons. Beloved, God is removing. It'll be a swift removal as well. Swift. One day it's just gonna, you're, it, either you're you're gonna get tired, you're gonna cut it off. I believe it's gonna be you, okay, before they can do it. Because you're going to start to see everything. <clears throat> After you see this video, you're gonna start to see everything. It's just gonna unfold for you. Okay? Pay attention. And do not pay attention to their reaction, most of all. Okay, because you know how somebody genuine is supposed to react to something wrong that they do. Okay, a person can play like they care all day, but if there's no reaction, like if somebody's really sorry and they love you for something that they, bad that they did, just as well as you're crying, oh, they will be tore up too and crying too and upset too. Instead of sitting there and looking with a 
a face like, oh, dang, you found out. That's the type of face that they have. Oh, oh man, you found out. They try to disguise it as something else. But you cannot fake, you cannot fake uh, caring. You can't fake loving someone. You know, on your exterior. Being caught up in something that you know you shouldn't have been doing. That you know is absolutely wrong. A natural reaction, not a staged one. You're gonna have to wean yourself and 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 basically train your to detach your heart. Train yourself to detach your heart because you know what? The love wasn't real, beloved. It wasn't real. It wasn't real. They didn't they never loved you in the first place. It wasn't real. So you I know it's gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt, I know, I know. You're gonna look back at all, like the memories and stuff, they're all fake, it was all staged. Think of it like a movie or a play. That's exactly what it was. Gifts, props, everything. You ever notice that they only get you something when they've done something wrong? Mm hmm But they cover it up as, as them, oh, I was thinking about you. Oh, I got this for you. No, they've done something wrong. That's why they got you something. Because they're selfish to begin with. They don't like to give, but they love to take. They love to take. They don't look at you crazy because you don't want to let them take from you. They feel like they own you, beloved. Like they should have the like they have the right to control your life and take what they want and treat you how they want. And because you're kind hearted. And the child of God that you're supposed to just take it. They take your kindness for weakness. But that's where they get it messed up. There are layers to us. They don't they don't know this. They're they're shallow. They're shallow people. Shallow, empty, shell people. They don't know this. There are layers to us. They look at the outside appearance and they judge you. Right? When they should know dang well better than they should know better than that. Right? They've been judged their whole lives. So why then do you judge somebody by their appearance and not their heart? God looks at the heart of man. Right? People look at the outward appearance and think that it's whatever they think it is. And they go off of their assumptions. They lie to themselves. I used to tell mine all the time, stop assuming. Stop assuming and ask. Why would you rather assume than be sure about a thing or about something? That ain't that ain't normal. That's on purpose. That's because they're doing it on purpose. And they play dumb. Right? But when they find out who you really are, they're gonna regret all of that. Not because they care, but because they missed out on more things they could have taken from you or done to you. Alright? Be careful what you eat. Uh, uh, keep everything you eat in your sight. Do not let them prepare your food or nothing because best believe they will try to poison you if they haven't already. If you've gotten randomly sick out of nowhere before and they didn't, mm -hmm. be careful, beloved. Father God, I plead the blood of Jesus from the crown of your child's head to the soles of their feet. Father God, cover them with a heavenly body of your angels, Father God, with their swords drawn in Jesus' mighty name, Father God. Protect her from the snares of the fowler and every dart and arrow of the enemy. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, Jesus Christ of Nazareth's mighty name. In Jesus' name, amen. Be careful, beloved. Okay, don't be afraid. God has you, but be careful. Be watchful and uh, pay attention. Okay, you'll be all right. You will. I mean, you probably won't hear that right now. Yeah. But I know how you feel. Okay, I, I do. That's why I'm able to come up here and talk to you about it. I know exactly how you feel. Okay, but it's none of your fault. None of your fault. Only thing you, only thing that might have been your fault is a, a a part of your fault is missing the red, is ignoring the red flags because you saw them, you saw them, but we we do that at times. We want to give people the benefit of the doubt. We want to see the best in people when 
they don't they don't necessarily they don't okay so love you okay most of all god loves you all right so be easy be cool don't say nothing right be careful with that don't say nothing don't say nothing just move accordingly right and listen to the spirit of god listen to the holy spirit right okay all right love you all right god loves you even more all right peace